Hey me, so let's continue. Yeah, stage seven. <laughs> All right. Because I really want to ask this one one more time because uh, I couldn't really, you know, finish as in really properly last time. Like say goodbye. So ready? Okay. Okay. So let me just uh, have to see this one in just a moment. Let me open the book. Okay. Here you go. So, would you like to be a priest? Would you like to be a priest? Yes, no. No. No, I wouldn't I like, wouldn't to, be like to be a priest. Why not? Why not? Because. Because. Why don't you like? <laughs> I'm not into I'm not any into religious any affiliations. Religious affiliations. Affiliations. Yep. Okay. Another. What do we mean when we say that some people don't practice what they preach? What do we mean when we say that people? When we say that people, or some people, huh, <laughs> some people don't practice what they preach. When you say that some when, people. When you say that. When when we when, when we, we say, say that, that some, some people don't people practice what don't they preach. Practice what they what they preach. preach. We mean we mean we mean what we mean that we mean that no, they give advice, they give to, advice other people, to other people other people about what is, about right, what is right, but they don't but follow they don't this follow advice themselves. This advice themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Again, as I say, what uh. What, what, which countries does the United Kingdom include? Which countries does the United Kingdom include? The United Kingdom includes. The United include Kingdom includes. The United Kingdom includes. The United Kingdom includes England, Northern England, Ireland, Northern Ireland Scotland, and Scotland, and Wales. Wales. Yeah, so they are sharing borders, right? So, another what's a kingdom? What's a kingdom? A kingdom, a kingdom is, a is a country which has a which king, has a or, king a queen. or a queen. As its head. As its head. As its, as its head. head. Yep. Are there any pretty flowers growing outside this building? Are there any pretty flowers growing outside this building? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, there are some, there pretty, are flowers some pretty flowers growing outside this growing building. Growing outside this building. Oh, I thought growing inside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's in front of me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Flower. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and <you know laughs> If you only got five hours sleep tonight, would you feel pretty tired tomorrow morning? If you only got five hours sleep tonight, would you feel pretty tired tomorrow morning? Yes. yes. If I only, if got, I only got five hours, five sleep, hours tonight, sleep tonight, I'd feel I'd pretty, feel tired, tomorrow pretty morning. tired tomorrow morning. Every day I sleep two hours though. <laughs> mm. Okay, now that I say I'm okay. <laughs> so what is the idiom hang on me? What is the idi idiom hang on me? The idiom the hang, idiom on, hang means... on means wait. Hey, again, another give me examples. Give me examples. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I think I have this address. Have this address, address in my in book my somewhere. Book somewhere. Okay, let's move down here. Relative class. What is a relative class? What's a relative class? A relative, a relative class, class is a class, is a class that we use to describe to describe a noun. A noun. Yep. So where do we put the relative class? Where do we put the relative class? We put a we relative put class. A relative class in in immediately after. Immediately after the noun it describes. The noun the it describes. Noun it describes. Okay, another way we call the words who, which, and that. We call the words who, which, and that. We call the words who, which, and that. We, we call, call the words, the words who, which, which, and that. Which and that. <laughs> Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what's your... <laughs> okay, what about this one? Let's move on because it is loading. Another, what is the difference between who, which, and that? What's the difference between who, which, and that? Uh, the, the difference, difference between, between who, which, and, who that and that is that, that we, use who we use who for people, for people which, which for things, and, for animals, things and animals, and that and for, that for people, people, things, and animals. Things and animals. Yeah, challenge more. <laughs> and again, now so give me a sentence with a relative clause in it. Please give me a sentence with a relative clause in it. Please, I know a man who lives in. <laughs> I know a man <laughs> I know who lives, a man lives in, that, in street. that street. Okay, so segue, guys. Maybe you will think I'm too fast. No, it's me as, it's me as choice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right? So relax. It's only a challenge. So another, the film that I saw yesterday. That I filmed, I saw yesterday. <laughs> Film. What do you mean? The film the that film I saw that I saw yesterday was great. Was great. I was also like, hmm, whoa, that was fast. <laughs> but who was that? Again, I don't know. I would say two senses, and I went. Uh, yeah, I want you to join them together with a world of class. Okay. Yesterday I saw a film. So the film lasted for three hours. Yesterday I saw a film. The film lasted for three hours. Yesterday I yesterday saw a film. Yesterday I saw a film, which lasted, which lasted for three lasted hours. For three hours. 
<laughs> Mary has a friend. <laughs> oh, it's me outside the world. <laughs> Mary has a friend. Her friend lives on a boat. Mary has a friend. Her friend lives on a boat. Mary has a Mary friend. Mary has a friend who lives, who on, lives a boat. on a boat. I am reading a book. My mother gave me the book. I am reading a book. My mother gave me the book. I am reading, I am the, reading book. the book. I am reading a book. I am reading a book. Which my mother which gave my me. Which my mother gave me. Yep. I mean, just use a. Guys, I can they said the waiter dropped a tray. He was carrying the tray. The waiter dropped a tray. He was carrying the tray. The waiter dropped the, the, tra the, tray, the tray that he was carrying. That he was carrying. That he was, that carrying. He was carrying. he was carrying. So slang, guys. Again, Ellen. What is the proper number of players on each side for a game of football? What is the proper number of players on each side for a game of football? The proper, the number, proper of players number of players. On each on side each for side a game of, of football. The game of football. For a game of football. For a game of football. Is? Is 11. Wow. That's correct. Another, is it considered improper behavior in your country or in your country? Let me just be specific. In your country, for a man to go through a doorway in front of a woman. Again, is it considered improper behavior in that country for a man to go through a doorway in front of a woman? Yes, no. Mm -hmm. No, it isn't considered it isn't improper considered behavior. Proper behavior. Behavior in this country, in this for, country a man, for a man to go, to through, go through a doorway, a doorway in, front of a woman. in front of a woman. I think so. Excuse me, right? Again, others. So what did the words backwards, forward, sideways, etc. mean? What did the words backwards, forward, sideways, etc. mean? The words, the words backwards, backwards, forwards, forwards sideways, sideways etc. Et mean? means towards the back, towards the, back, the front, towards the front. Towards the side, etc. Etc. Et so, yep. so, what am I doing? What am I doing? You're moving You're backwards, moving backwards and, and forwards. forwards. Yep. So, what am I doing? What am I doing? You're moving, You're moving sideways. sideways. <laughs> yep. Another. What's my hand moving? What's my hand moving? Your hand's Your moving, moving upwards, upwards and, and downwards. downwards. Yep, me count the numbers in English from 10 to 15 backwards quickly again. Can I count the numbers in English from 10 to 15 backwards quickly? 15, 14, 15, 14 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, the reality, guys, is not like that. Okay, this is just a challenge. Again, look up the ceiling, please. Look up at the ceiling, please. So, are you looking upwards or downwards? Are you looking upwards or downwards? I'm looking. I'm looking up upwards. <laughs> I'm looking <laughs> upwards. Okay, another. Me. What kind of music irritates you? What kind of music irritates you? The kind of music, the kind of music that, irritates that irritates me is. Me is... Which one? Heavy metal. Mm, heavy metal. Heavy metal. Another, when you're in a restaurant, do you get irritated if people at another table are talking very loudly? When you are in a restaurant, do you get irritated if people at another table are talking very loudly? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, when I'm, when in, a I'm in a restaurant, I get irritated, I get irritated if people at if another people table at another table are talking very loudly. Are, are talking, talking very, very loudly. loudly. But you also do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's coronavirus time. They shouldn't talk loud, mm. right? Mm. It's only fun to <laughs> me, <mine, no? laughs> Because me, you said, don't be loud like, like that. <laughs> yeah, like, they can like talk. that. No, they can <laughs> not loud. Yeah, anyway, so quiet then. And again, now the, as a rule, the people in your town go to the cinema more on Saturday evenings than on Sunday evenings, or vice versa. Uh, with coronavirus, let's just say, as a rule, the people in your town go to the cinema more on Sunday evenings than on yeah Saturday evenings than on Sunday evenings, but or vice versa. As a rule, as a rule, people in my town go to the cinema more on more Saturday, Sunday. Saturday. Evenings. evenings. Then on, on Sunday evenings. Sunday evenings. Yep. I like all Sunday. Hello. <laughs> Again, like, what do we do with the waste paper? What do we do with waste paper? We throw, we throw waste, paper, waste away. paper away. Yep. Do you think it's a waste of time learning a foreign language which is little spoken in the world? Do you think it's a waste of time learning a foreign language which is little spoken in the world? No, I don't think it's no, a waste of time. It's a waste of time learning a foreign learning language. A foreign language. Foreign language. Foreign language. Which is little which spoken is... in the world. Which is little, spoken in, little the world. spoken in the world. Yep. So what kind of things do you consider to be a waste of time? What kind of things do you consider to be a waste of time? The kind of, the things, kind of things I consider I to be a waste, to of be time a waste of time are, are... Hmm. What? 
Mm. Going to the supermarket? No, it's not a waste mm. of time. Mm. What do you do? It's okay. Playing games? It's okay. Oh, playing games and... Um... It's art. <laughs> mm-hmm. Playing games and... What else? What else? Doing the chores. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. <laughs> and doing household chores. Doing household, household chores. chores. Yes, guys, she doesn't like chores. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay, me too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, another, what kind of things do you consider to be a waste of money? What kind of things do you consider to be a waste of money? The kind of, the things, kind of things I consider I to be a waste of money, a waste of money are buying are unnecessary buying things. Unnecessary things. Why? Why? Because Because I don't need them at all. I don't need them at all. Yes, you could have done other things, right? So that's why it's unnecessary. Another, do you ever waste your money? Do you ever waste your money? Yes, I sometimes waste yes, my I money. Sometimes waste of my money. Yeah. Waste my money. Waste my money. <laughs> on what? On what? On buying Buy unhealthy. Unhealthy snacks. <laughs> <laughs> it's mm-hmm. yummy though. Another, do you ever waste your time? Do you ever waste your time? Yes, I sometimes, I sometimes waste, waste my waste time. My time. How, how? By arguing with watching. With watching. (laughs) (laughs) Familiar. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, guys, we are fighting. Which one is more delicious, chocolate or the salty food? (laughs) Yeah, just a simple thing, though. You know, bickering. (laughs) Okay, another. So, how do we use contractions and suddenly slowly? Yeah, you know what, guys? When you have 20 Kellen classes, really, your heart will gonna be home. <laughs> okay, anyway, so again, I will repeat that part. When do we use contractions and when don't we use them? When do we use contractions and when don't we use them? We use contractions, we use contractions in conversation. In conversation. But not often in writing. But, but not, often, not in writing. often in writing. Special formal Special writing. Special formal writing. Special, Special formal writing. Especially formal writing. Formal writing. Yep, correct. Okay, another. What do you think is the most terrible thing that can happen to someone? What do you think is the most terrible thing that can happen to someone? I think the most terrible thing thing that can happen to someone is that happen to that can that can happen to someone is what is suicide. That's really terrible. (laughs) (laughs) This is terrible. I see. That's why I said the most terrible. Yeah, it's suicide. Okay, <laughs> commit committing suicide. Suicide. Mm. Yes, I'm not too sure. Mm. <laughs> Again, Ellie, would you like to have the leadership of your country in your hands? Again, would you like to have the leadership of your country in your hands? Yes, no. No, I wouldn't like I to have the like leadership. Have a leadership. The leadership of my country. Of my country. The leadership of the my country. The leadership of my country. In my hands. In my hands. Why not? Why not? Because, because, mm. why don't you like to be the leader of the, your country? You knew me, mm. right? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't because like I don't taking, like taking mm, difficult <laughs> responsibilities. Difficult responsibilities. <laughs> responsibilities or high responsibilities, right? Yes, mm. of course, guys. We want to live normal. <laughs> yeah. Chores is even difficult, are even difficult. How much more leadership the country, right? Again, okay, I said, do you have a market in the middle of your hometown? Uh, do you have a market in the middle of your hometown? Yes, we have yes, a market, have in, a the market middle of in the middle of my, my hometown. hometown. Yep, so me, do you ever wonder what will happen to you in the future? Do you ever wonder what will happen to you in the future? No, I never oh, wonder, I wonder what will happen, what will to, happen me to me in the future. In the future. Yeah, because if it is okay, only an example. What do you suppose will happen to you in the future? What do you suppose will happen to you in the future? I suppose, I that, suppose that. What? What do you suppose will happen? Yeah. I, suppose. I suppose. See, that's why, guys. I said she never wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that. I, suppose I will that be. I will be. What? A great English speaker. <laughs> A great. <laughs> English, English speaker, speaker in the future. In the future. Yep, yeah, only supposed guys. Don't worry. <laughs> don't be so serious. <laughs> Again, other. Have you ever wondered why some people are rich whilst others are poor? Again, have you ever wondered why some people are rich whilst others are poor? Yes, no. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I've sometimes, I've sometimes wondered. wondered why some people why are some rich. Some people are rich. Some people, some people are, are rich. rich. Whilst others, whilst are, others are poor. 
Yeah, so why are children more often filled with wonder than adults? Why are children more often filled with wonders than adults? I think, I the, think reason the reason children are more often are more filled, often with, wonder, filled with wonder wonder than adults is that, adult is that so many things so are new to them. I knew to them. I knew to new to them. them. Took it. I knew to them. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, another. Name me one of the seven wonders of the world. Name me one of the seven wonders of the world. The pyramids are pyramids one of the seven are one wonders. Of the seven, one of the seven wonders, wonders of, the world. of the world. There was already fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> there was already fourteen. Hold on. Okay, another. Say, what is the most wonderful thing that has ever happened to you in your life? What is the most wonderful thing that has ever happened to you in your life? The most wonderful the most thing. Wonderful thing that has ever that happened has to me. Ever happened to me in my life in my was. Life was giving what? birth to my daughters mm. me too <laughs> me too <laughs> mm. yeah, by, by knowing that <laughs> I'm just happy for you why not <laughs> okay, another is, uh, what does the idiom fed up mean what does the idi uh, idiom hala. <laughs> what does the idiom fed up means Bo the idiom fed up the means the idiom fed up means bored and tired, and tired. Yeah, my mouth doesn't move <laughs> anymore <laughs> Guys, help! <laughs> help! I need more water. Okay, yeah, give me some, please. Give me some, please. Hey, I don't. I don't want to drink. I already have stuck. <laughs> Too much stuck. <laughs> okay, another. What you got, Mel? <laughs> I need more water. So sad. Give me an example. Give me some, please. I'm just bad with better everything. With everything. Let me see. Don't worry, I'm here. I'll, I'll make uh, you more uh, fed up. <laughs> uh -oh. That's a friend, right? <laughs> Making you more fed up. <laughs> Again, another. When do we put the word so neither or nor at the beginning of a sentence? Again, when we put the word so neither or nor at the beginning of a sentence, so we put the word we so the neither word or nor. So neither or nor. At the beginning of a, sentence, beginning of a when, sentence, when when someone makes someone a statement, makes statement, and we want to reply want that the same situation, that the same situation. Same situation. That the same that situation, the same situation <laughs> is true for, is us, true for us, us or somebody else. Or somebody else. Yes, that's great. Suddenly my neck. <laughs> Again, uh, if someone tells you that they would like some coffee me and you would also like some coffee, what can you reply? If someone tells you that they would like some coffee and you would also like some coffee, what can you reply? If someone tells, if someone me, tells me that they would like, they some, would coffee, like some coffee some coffee, and I would also, and like, I would some also coffee, like some coffee, I can reply. I can reply. So would I. So what I? I thought you were saying, you know. Another. If someone tells you that they couldn't sleep last night and you couldn't sleep either, what can you reply? If someone tells you that they couldn't sleep last last night and you couldn't sleep either, what can you reply? If someone tells, if someone me, that, tells me that they couldn't sleep they last, couldn't night, last and night and they couldn't they sleep, couldn't last, sleep night, last night and last night last night. And I couldn't sleep I either. Couldn't sleep either. I can reply I neither can reply could I neither or could I or nor, nor could, I. could I. Yep. Okay. So me, how do we make this kind of short reply? How do we make this kind of short reply? We make this we kind make of short this reply. Kind of short li reply by using the word so neither or nor neither or nor or nor and by putting the by auxiliary putting verb the auxiliary verb before the before subject. The subject. Yep, if there is no auxiliary verb, which verb do we use? Again, if there is no auxiliary verb, which verb do we use? If there is no auxiliary is verb, no auxiliary verbs, we use <laughs> Yep, that's correct. We use we do, use do in, the short in the reply. short reply. <laughs> yeah, my mouth suddenly stops when there's something weird. <laughs> again, another reply to the following statements. Me, statements, <laughs> statements. Uh, again, reply to the following statements as if the same situation is true for you. Ready? Okay, I can speak English. I can speak English. So can I. So can I. I won't go there. I won't go there. Neither will I. Neither will I. I am a student. I am a student. So am I. So am I. I have a good car. I have a good car. Neither have Neither I. Neither have I. My mother lives a long way from here. My mother lives a long way from here. So does mine. So does mine. If my best friend doesn't smoke, my best friend doesn't smoke. Nor does mine. Nor does mine. Yay. Again, another. What do I mean if I say um, I can speak French and so can my mother? What do I mean if I say I can speak French and so can my mother? If you say I can speak French, if you say I can speak French and so can my mother, so can my mother, my mother. You mean that? You mean that? You can speak French. You can, hmm? you can, speak, you can French. speak French. And your mother can, can speak your French. Your mother too. can French too. Can can speak French. Speak too. French too.
<laughs> okay, right. Another. What about this one? All those sweets aren't good for the health. Is it okay to have a bit of chocolate sometimes? All those sweets aren't good for the health. Is it okay to have a bit of chocolate sometimes? Yes, all those yes, sweets aren't good. All those sweets aren't <laughs> good for the health. Good for the health. It's okay, it's to, okay have to have a bit, a bit of chocolate of sometimes. Chocolate sometimes. But you don't have a bit. You have a lot. <laughs> yeah, right. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, yeah. She's tall, guys, so maybe my outlet is uh, a bit for her. <laughs> okay, another me. If you were an employer, and what if your, uh, what if your employees found you to say, uh, ma'am, for example, to say that they were feeling a bit ill, would you think that, that was a good enough reason for them not to come to work? Again, if you were an employer, and what if your employees found you to say that they were feeling a bit ill, would you think that was a good enough reason for them not to come to work? Yes, no. Okay. Yes, if yes, I were an employer... Were an employer, and what about employees phone me? Employees phoned me to say, me to say that they were that feeling, they were a, bit fe feeling, feeling a, a bit ill. Yeah, I think that was I good think enough. That that was a good enough reason. A good enough reason for them not for to them come not to work. To come to work. Yep. Okay, let's move down here. Okay, what's a snag? What's a snag? A snag a is small snag problem. Is a small problem. Problem. Give an example. Give an example. I need to send him an email. I need to send him an email. But there's just, but one, there's snack. just one snack. My Wi Fi isn't working. My Wi Fi isn't working. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> okay, another. Is your country usually defeated at football? Is your country usually defeated at football? Now my country isn't my usually. Country isn't isn't usually usually defeated, at defeated at football. At football. If, do you know which political party suffered defeat in the last elections in your country? Do you know which political party suffered defeat in the last elections in your country? No, I don't know, I don't which, know political which political party, party suffered defeat suffer in the defeat last elections. In defeat, defeat in the last in elections. The last election in my country. Elections in my elections country. Elections in my country. What's a phrase? What's a phrase? A phrase a is a collection, is a of, collection words of words that belong that together, belong in, a together in a sentence. Because together. Okay. In a, in a sentence. Yep, because together. Yeah. Be? Because together. Because together. Yeah, because together. Together. Yep, they form a particular form... part of the sentence. Yeah. They form they a particular form a part. Particular part of the sentence. Of the sentence. I have a background here. The trucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Give me samples. Give me samples. At high speed. At high speed. Yep. All right, what about this one? What is the verb to mind mean? What does the verb to mind mean? The verb to mind means to object to, object, to, to, consider, to consider, to be careful, to be careful of, of, and to look, and after. To look after. What can we say to the other passengers before opening the window of a train or a bus? So what can we say to the other passengers before opening the window of a train or a bus? Before opening, before the, window opening the window of a train, of or, a train bus, or a bus. We, or a bus. We can say to, the other, say passengers, to the other passengers, excuse me. Excuse me. Would you mind if I opened the window? Would you mind if I opened the window? The window? Yep. Again, okay, do you mind if people smoke near you when you're eating in a restaurant? Do you mind if people smoke near you when you're eating in a restaurant? Yes, I mind, yes, if, I people mind if people smoke near me. Smoking near me. Smoke, smoke near, me. near me. When I'm eating in a restaurant. When I'm eating at restaurant. In a restaurant. In a restaurant. And if you do my work, can you say? And if you do my work, can you say? Uh, if I do mind, if I do mind, I can say excuse I could me. Say, excuse me. I can say. I can say. Excuse, excuse me. me. But would you mind not smoking, please? Would you, would you mind, mind not, not smoking, smoking please? please? Yep. And what does someone mean if they say, for example, "Don't mind me, carry on with what you are doing"? What is the? Uh, what does someone mean if they say, "Don't mind me, carry on with what you are doing"? If someone says, if "Someone said, don't mind me, don't carry mind on, me, carry on and with what you are with doing," what you're doing, they mean, they mean, don't consider me don't or consider me or, or don't think don't about me. Think about me. Yep. If you didn't mind uh, what you said in public, what might uh, happen? Okay? If you didn't mind what you said in public, what might what might happen? If you know, if, what might happen? If I didn't mind, if I didn't mind what I said in what public, I said in public, I might get into trouble. I might get into trouble. Yep. If a sign above a door says "mind your head," what does it mean? If a sign above a door says "mind your head," what does it mean? If a sign above if, a door, if, if a sign above a, sign a door, above a door <laughs> says. The door. A door says. A door says. <laughs> mind your head. Mind your head. It means that it the, means door, that is the low, door is low. And you must be careful. But you must be careful. And, and you must, you be, must careful be careful. Not to hit not your to head hit on your it. Head on it. Yeah, you must be careful. Mm, you're okay. <laughs>
<laughs> I can't have this. Do you mind what other people say or think about you? That is, is it important to you? Again, do you mind what other people say uh, or think about you? That is, is it important to you? Yes, now. Yes. Yes, I mind what um, other people say. I mind what other people say. What other, what people, other say. people say? Say. Say. And think about and me. Think about me. That is, it's that important. That is, it's to me. important to me. Why? Why? Because. Because. Mm -hmm. I can learn from them. I can learn from them. Another. When parents have to go out together in the evening, we usually mind their baby. When parents, uh, you put letter S, okay? So when parents have to go out together in the evening, who usually minds their baby? I will repeat. When parents have to go out together in the evening, who usually minds their baby when parents when have parents to, go, have out to go out together, together in the evening in the evening in the evening a babysitter usually a babysitter usually minds their baby mind the baby minds, minds their baby their baby yep what's a child matter what's a child matter a child a matter child is, someone is someone who looks after who looks a very young child very young child while the parents are well, at work their parents the, are the parents are the parents at are at work Okay, what about this one? What does the idiom be into something mean? What does the idiom be into something mean? The idiom, the idiom be, into, be something into something means have, have a strong interest have a in strong, strong interest in in something. Something. <laughs> Give an example. Give an example. Most teenagers, Most teenagers these, these days, days, days are into, are into computer, games. computer games. Computer games. Computer games. Yes, that's correct. So I bet that are going to be for your last few sentences here questions in uh, stage seven as of the moment right so see you when you see me thank you so much for today bye, -bye. have a good day bye <laughs>